Hi everyone, my name is Emma and I'm with PiFi and today we will be reading Is Your Buffalo Ready for Kindergarten by Audrey Vernick. Some people say kindergarten is no place for a buffalo. How crazy is that? Does your buffalo have a backpack? Well then, he's definitely ready for kindergarten. Is he feeling shy? That's okay. It can be hard to start something new, especially when your buffalo will be the only one with horns and a mane. Okay, and a hump. But who can restrict that furry face? Is he worried about being the only one who's not good with scissors or the only one afraid of scissors? Begin simply. Have your buffalo hold the scissors. Okay, maybe your buffalo can't cut yet, but maybe most kids aren't the state animal of Oklahoma or pictured on old nickels. Everyone's special in his or her own way. That's the kind of thing you learn in kindergarten. Won't your buffalo just love recess? He may need time to get used to the no grazing rule and swings may not be for everyone, but schoolyard games are. Some kids are great hiders, others are good seekers and your buffalo is the very best hiding ever. Finger painting is such fun. Remind your buffalo it's okay to get messy. No true artist stays clean, and you never know what kind of masterpiece those hooves might create. Cooperating and taking turns are both very big deals in kindergarten, but your buffalo may sometimes get frustrated, like when someone takes his building blocks or calls him fluffalo. Another buffalo might not be tempted, another buffalo might be tempted to nudge those kids. But not your buffalo. He'll stop, take a deep breath, and remember the rules for sharing and caring. That's why kindergarten is so great. You learn to get along without using your horns. Snack time. Your buffalo is probably looking forward to sharing treats with a classmate, but he may be the only one who eats grass, then throws it up in his mouth and eats it again. Remember, everyone is special in his or her own way. Your buffalo will want to look sharp on school picture day. Does he have a favorite shirt, suit, tie? It's not always easy for a well-dressed buffalo to stay spiffy. That's okay. As long as he smiles, that mighty buffalo smile. Can your buffalo balance on a tightrope? Kidding, he doesn't need to do that unless he's going to clown kindergarten. Sometimes it's hard to decide who to play with or sit, to it, or sit next to at story time. This will be a problem for your buffalo. True, he may be the tiniest bit smelly but he's so cheerful and friendly, not to mention warm and cuddly. Anyone who says kindergarten is no place for a buffalo has definitely not met yours. He belongs there, he loves it. In fact, he may not ever leave. Good luck with that. The end.